Uh, how's it going? Hello, I'm very well, thank you. Nice. Okay, good to hear. Um, and what have you been up to? In the last two hours, I came mm -hmm. back home. Okay, nice. How long is your trip from school to home? Uh, 40 minutes. 40 minutes. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, do you take the metro? Yes. Okay, nice. I was. I feel like public transportation is good in that like, you can read and things. Um, cool. Uh, Diego, how's it going? Fine, Joe. Chuck, how are you? I'm doing pretty well. It's good to see you. Um, how was your day? Um, I I went to the visit and the dentist. I have a, a pain in in a tooth in a tooth. Okay. Yes. Um, in the afternoon, I work in <clears throat> in a document. I worked on a document. I worked on a document. Good. Okay. Okay. And Ken, how's it going? Ken? Yes, I'm fine. How are you? Nice. I'm doing pretty well. Thanks. Um, is it still snowing over there? Uh, probably because it's dark, so I, I don't see the outside. So maybe okay. because it's cold here. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. um, do you enjoy when it snows, or do you not like it? When I was a kid, I enjoyed snow, but now it's uh, you know <laughs> I don't I don't play with snow, so it's just cold. I don't like to. So, and you know, it, it's pretty though. And you get to like so sit under your like little warm table desk. Yeah, and uh, another problem, you know, this area is not snow area, so it's very difficult to drive when the snow accumulates or mm. public transportation stops. So. Okay. Yeah. I guess that makes sense. Um, all right. And Gregor, how's it going? I'm fine. I mean, nothing. Trying to still copy files. <laughs> okay, that sounds horrible. Um, but all right. Uh, and I guess we're good. Uh, let's get started with the school. Um, so, so yeah, the school by Donald Barthelmey. Let's look and read through the words first. So, Ksenia, can you read through these words? Nursery kicked off. Explicable. Um, cons consensus. Conscientious. Cons consci conscientious. Um, sabotage. Uh, knapsack. To grapple. Mundanity. Uh, transcended. Asserted. Transcended. Transcended. Good. Transcended. Uh, okay. Does anybody have any questions about any of these words? Explicable. Okay. Who knows explicable? Something that you can explain. Uh huh? Something that you can explain. Okay. Any other questions? Uh -huh. Quickly off, quickly off. I don't know. Kicked off. <laughs> okay. Kicked off. Uh, uh, does anybody off. know kicked off? Kicked off. Listen. Maybe forced to get out. It's actually uh, a different interpretation. Uh, yeah. So okay. we've got kick off. It's in like the start of something, especially like a game. It's like this kick off of a soccer game. Actually, a game, and then kick out, and which is what you were talking about, is to forcibly remove. And then we've got the other kick off, which is just to die. Um, it's like an in impolite way of saying to die. Um, it's like Grandpa kicked off the other day. Um, it's just not very nice. Anyways, that's what it is. Um, any other questions? To grapple. Okay. Um, to grapple. Does anybody know grapple? Something like to fight. Like to fight. Um, to fight to understand. Often, it's like we grapple with 
like concepts often. Um, it's like you kind of like trying to mentally wrestle the concept into understanding. Um, yeah. Any other questions? Are sorted. Okay. Anybody know? To declare something? Yeah, to declare something. Often with like conviction. To assert something. Any other questions? Okay. Cool. And let's have Ksenia, can you read that first paragraph? Well, we had all these children out planting trees. See, because we figured that that was part of the education to see how you know the root system and also the sense of responsibility, taking care of things, being indiv individually responsible. You know what I mean. And the trees all died. They were orange trees. You don't know why they died. They just died. Something wrong with soil, possibly, or maybe the stuff we got from the nursery wasn't the best. We complained about it. So we've got 30 kids there. Each kid had his or her own little tree to plant, and uh, we've got the 30 dead trees. All these kids looking of these little brown sticks, it was depressing. Yeah. Okay, I don't know why they died. I don't know why they died. Yeah, that was good. Okay. Um, Amp, welcome to class. How's it going? Uh, okay, you're really quiet. If you could maybe try to raise your volume. Yeah, um, right there. Okay, there you go. Perfect. Uh, Heidi, can you read the next part? It wouldn't have been so bad except that just a couple of weeks before the thing with the trees, the snake all died. The snakes all died, but Good. I think that the snakes were the reason that the snakes kicked off, but that, you remember, the border was shut off for four days because of that strike, and that was explicable. It was something you could explain to the kids uh, because of the strike. I mean, none of their parents would let them cross the picket line, and they uh, knew there was a strike going on, and what it meant. Uh, meant. So when I think got started up again, and we found the snakes, they weren't too disturbed. Okay, good. Um, does anybody have any questions here? Okay. Uh, um, what? Go what ahead. Is the, uh, the picket line. Okay. Who knows what a picket line is? Anybody? Okay, so a picket line is a line of workers who are not working, um, who are protesting. And so they have pickets, which are like signs, saying why they're not working. Does that make sense? Uh, yes. Okay, good. Yeah, so that's a picket line. Um, any other questions? All right, so everything's dying, going away. Uh, Gregors, can you read the next next part? Okay, with the herb garden, it was probably a case of overwatering, and at least now they know not to overwater. The children were very conscientious with the herb garden, and some of them probably you know saved them a little extra water. When we are n n when we are not looking, or maybe well, I don't like to think about sabotage. Although it did occur to us, I mean, to us something that crossed our mind. Okay, we are, let's look. Let's look yeah, at conscientious. Conscientious. Okay. And what's happening in this part, Gregor? What's happening in the part you just read? Um, I, there's too much water. I mean, they add too much water in 
status quo be one of the mm, uh, okay uh, yeah, so, so they, yeah they, 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 the kids they water the flower in a, <coughs> in a completely in a proper way uh, but later he saying something different because he's uh, pointing out the purpose of sabotage um, and it's like well, he's thinking we didn't realize about that I mean what sabotage um, that maybe that was the fault that was one of the reasons why okay so overwatering mm, this garden I guess Sabotage is a little bit different. Um, who knows what sabotage is? Sabotage is... Oh, sorry, go ahead. Uh, when someone refused to do something. Yeah, uh, well, not really when somebody refuses to do something. Um, um, Ken, what were you going to say? Oh. Yeah, almost uh, maybe refuse to uh, do something intentionally, like strike. It's more like intentional destruction. Stop. So if you're sabotaging something, you're like destroying it intentionally. So either it's an active form of destruction or it's a passive form of destruction. Um, yeah, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, to intentionally cause damage. That's what sabotage is. So he's thinking that maybe the students, you know, intentionally, or like one student intentionally killed the herb gardens. Um, all right, Judith, can you read the next part? Yes. We were thinking that way probably because before that the, the gerbils had died and the white mice had died and the salamander, well, now they know not to carry them around in plastic bags. Of course, we expected the tropical fish to die. That was no surprise. Those numbers, we look at them crooked, and they are barely up on the surface. But the lesson plan called for a tropical fish input at that point. There was nothing we could do. It happens every year. You just have to hurry past it. Okay. Um, crooked? Crooked. Yeah, and on the surface. Surface. Um, all right, nice. And <laughs> those numbers, what's that mean? Those numbers? Uh, that is the, what happens? No. A little bit different. This is strange in that it's not often used, but like it's like saying those things. So a number is kind of like a thing or a person, or like a specific type of person okay. or thing, if that makes sense. Any questions here, guys? Okay. Um, let's have. Do, 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 do. Diego, can you read the first part? Okay, we weren't even supposed to have a puppy. We weren't even supposed to have one. It was just a puppy. The Marduch girl found under the his state truck one day and she was afraid the truck would run over it when the driver had feature, features, making his uh, de delivery, so <coughs> she stuck eating uh, her uh, can canas can nap sack and uh, neck sap, um, brought it to the school with her. So. We had uh, his puppy as soon as I saw. I saw his puppy. I thought, "Oh Christ! I bet it will live for about two weeks, and then, and that's what it did." Okay. Oh Christ! Uh, oh Christ! Oh Christ! Oh Christ! 
Knapsack? Knapsack. 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 Finished? Finished. 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 And the Murdoch girl. The Murdoch girl. Murdoch. Murdoch. Good. Okay. Uh, questions here. Okay. Uh, Amp, can you read the next part? It wasn't supposed to be in the classroom at all. There is some kind of regulation about it, but you can't tell they, them they can't have a puppy when the puppy is already there, right in front of them, running around on the floor and yap, yap, yapping. They named it Edgar, that is. They named it after me. They had a lot of fun running after it and yelling, here, Edgar, nice, Edgar. Then they laugh like hell. They enjoy the ambiguity. I enjoyed it myself. I don't mind being kidded. Good. Ambiguity. Um, be please. Ambiguity. 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 <laughs> Close. Uh, One more time. Ambiguity. <laughs> Good. Ambiguity. <laughs> uh, and named. They named it. Uh, they named it. Good. Okay. Solid. Really well done. And questions here. Ken, can you read the next part? Okay. Uh, sorry. Uh, from where? Sorry. Uh, they, they made little made a little house for it in the slab supply closet and all that. I don't know what it died of. This distemper, I guess. It probably hadn't had any shots. We got it out of there before the kids got to school. We checked the supply closet each morning, routinely, because I knew what was going to happen. I gave it to the customer custodian routinely routinely okay Ken what's happening in this part if you follow mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. maybe uh, they are guessing what or maybe what it died for? Yeah, I mean, he's guessing why it died. Um, mm. I guess on the whole page, maybe AMP, what happened on this page? The, what was going on? Well, it's, um, the, the little dog died. Yeah. So the little dog died? Um, yeah, I guess, how does it fit into the whole story? Um, Well, uh, it seems that the, the 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 boys are not able to take care of any kind of pet or animal because most of them have died. Yeah, everything that has even touched this school has died. Um, it's like everything is just dying. They have things and they die. Um, and so the puppy was not an exception. This teacher, who's the narrator, kind of like knew it. Like, he saw this puppy, and he's like, oh, man, it's going to live for about two weeks. And that's what it did. Died after two weeks. Um, and, like, the name of the puppy. What's going on with the name of the puppy? Anybody? So what's the name of the narrator? Yeah, it's the name of the teacher, the narrator. And so they're kind of playing around with the names. Um, let's have... Ksenia, can you read this first part. And then there was this Korean orphan that the class adopted through the help the children program. All the kids brought in a quarter a month that was the idea. It was an unfortunate thing. The kid's name was Kim and maybe we adopted him too late or something. 
the course of death was not started in the latter regard. They suggested to adopt another child instead and send us some interesting case histories. But we didn't have the heart. Can you repeat stated? Stated. Good. Um, okay. Nice. And let's have Heidi. Can you read the next part? Mm -hmm. The class took it pretty hard as they began. I think nobody ever said anything to me directly to fear that maybe there was something wrong with the school. But I don't think there was anything wrong with the school, particularly. I've seen better and I've seen worse. I was just run of back, uh, bad luck. We had an extraordinary number of parents uh, passing away. For instance, uh, there were I uh, there were I think two heart attacks and two suicides. One drowning and the four killed together in a car accident. One stroke, and we had to use a heavy uh, mortality uh, rate among the grandparents, but maybe it was heavier this year, which seems so. Okay, good. Let's look at extraordinary. Extraordinary. It's more like extraor, extraordinary. Extraordinary. Mm, okay, so you can say extraordinary. It's a little bit strange if you say it like that, it, so it's not wrong. I guess my suggestion would just be extraordinary. Extraordinary. Can you try it like that once? Extraordinary. Okay. Yeah, you can say extraordinary. So it, it doesn't really matter. Um, we generally remove the A, so we say extraordinary. Um, but that's okay. Uh, drowning. Drowning. Mm, yeah, drown. I don't really know how to write that. Drowning. Okay, good. Any questions here? Okay, um, and Gregors, can you read the next part? Uh, yes, and finally, the tragedy. The tragedy occurred when Matthew Wayne and Tony Mapper Gordo were playing copper while they, they are excavating for the new federal office building. The old desk wouldn't be stuck, you know, at the edge of the excavation. There is a court case coming out of that. The parents are claiming that the beans. Did I lose ya? Gregors? Yes. Okay, I lost you after beams. Can you <clears throat> read the rest of it? Okay. That the beams were pretty stacked. Oh no, what is true and what's not. It's been a strange year. All right. Okay, good. Um, I think that's good. Does anybody have any questions? Gregors, what happened to Matthew Ween, Wine and Tony Mavrigor, though? What happened to them? I mean, excavating, I don't remember the meaning of this word. But okay. they were doing this close to federal office building. Yeah. What's excavating mean? Mm. Does anybody know? To dig. Mm -hmm. So like they're digging, they're like taking things oh, out right. or apart. Yeah. Um, and so what happened to the kids? Um, and what was happened, there was a court case coming out because parents um, that the beams were probably stuck, so... Okay. Uh, so in here, well, the person just tell us that he doesn't know if it's true or it's not because it was a strange year because he's tried to conclude all the information what was happening in the like, a previous paragraphs. Okay. Um, yeah, but what happened to the kids? Because whatever happened to the kids is not directly stated. We have to... You know. No, I think uh, they have some kind of law uh, problems because of the excavation close to the federal office building. It's so a little bit 
different a little they bit. Also, they also die because it seems that they, the, the beans were bad stuck and they, mm -hmm. that is why. Exactly. The, the reason. So these two children also died right. because they were playing near like a building site and they say that the, the beans were like poorly stacked um, and so we're imagining these beams crushed these two children and the parents are suing the company who's doing the building. Um, so yeah, again, we've got another death or more deaths. Um, any other questions here? Okay. And let's have... Uh, Julieta, can you read the first part? I forgot to mention Billy Brand's, Brand's father, who was knifed. Knifed. Fatally, knifed. Knifed. Fatally. fatally uh -huh. When he grappled with a masked intruder in his home. One day we had a discussion in class. They asked me, where did they go? The trees, the salamander, the tropical fish, Edgar, the papas, the mamas, Matthew and Tony, where did they go? And I said, I don't know, I don't know. And they said, who knows? And I said, nobody knows. And they said, is death that which gives meaning to life? And I said, no, life that which gives meaning to life. Life is that which gives meaning to life. Life is that which gives meaning to life. And Edgar? Edgar. Edgar. It's almost Edgar. like Edgar. 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 Ed. And knife fatally. Knife fatally. Good. Nicely done. All right. What's this last part saying? Uh, they are questioning about uh, death and life, mm -hmm. and uh, the the teacher doesn't have a real answer. He said that uh, it's life, which gives meaning to life. Okay, yeah. I guess in your own words, what's it mean if death gives meaning to life or if life gives meaning to life? What's the difference between those two? Mm. Oh. It, is it a different approach? So, um, if death gives meaning to life, that means that the goal of life is death, and then the other way is the life that is the. the oh, I don't know how to say that. Is life that? Uh, <laughs> is the real meaning of life. <laughs> okay, I think, I mean, that's good, uh, for sure. Mm -hmm. Does anybody have any, like, any other input on that, those two sentences? Is death that which gives meaning to life, and life is that which gives meaning to life? Does anybody have any, like, interpretation of that that's any different than two others? I mean... Okay, all right. Uh, Diego, can you read the next part? Okay. Then they said, but isn't that considered as a fundament datum, the means by which the taking for granted mundanity of the everyday every day may be trans transited in the the religion that I said yes, maybe. They said we don't like it. I said that's sound. They said it's a bloody chain. I said it is. Okay. Transcended. Transcendent. And the direction of? The di direction of? Good. Okay. Um, good. Really nicely done. So... Maybe also taken for granted mundanity. OK. 
Can you also repeat that? Taken for granted mundanity. Okay. Taken for granted mundanity. Okay. What Good. what what means that uh, sentence? Okay. So, does it, anybody know what take for granted means? For sure, something. It's what was that? Uh, so we uh, don't uh, ex expertise their point of view. We just believe it. We don't expertise. We don't like think mm. about a point yeah, of view. Think about. Mm -hmm. We just believe it. Yeah, like it's accepting something at face value. You could say as well. Um, so you don't really think about something. Yeah. Um, and then mundane. Or mundanity. What is mundanity? Related to the everyday life. Yeah, like boringness. What were you gonna say, Amp? Yeah, the same. Related okay. with the, the the life in the world. Yeah, so something that's mundane is just like boring every day. Yeah, not very special. And so what the children are saying here is that, like, isn't death the thing that, like, makes us think about life in more than the uh, everyday mundanity of it? Isn't that, like, death something that makes the life that we're living special? And, like, without death, wouldn't life be just mundane and boring? Is that, does that make sense to you guys? Um, but they also they can't really put into words where it's going. Like, how is it transcending that meaning? So it's it's open. And he's like, yeah, maybe maybe that's what death is. Um, so they're just arguing their point, saying that death is that which gives meaning to life in this sentence. So this is why death gives meaning to life. Does that make sense to everybody? Yes. Okay. And also that they don't like it. <laughs> and they think it's a bloody shame. Does anybody else have any other questions here? Okay. And let's have uh, Diego was the last one. Amp, can you read the first paragraph? They said, will you make love now with Helen, our teaching assistant, so that we can uh, see how it is done? We know you like Helen. I do like Helen, but I said that I would not. We've heard so much about it, they said, but we've never seen it. I said I would be fired, and that is was never, or almost never, done uh, as a demonstration. <laughs> Helen looked out, out of the window. <laughs> Good. What's happening here, Amp? The boys are... Joking. The children. The children are uh, asking the teacher to sh show them how to make love with, uh, with a woman, in this case with Helen, that they know that the teacher liked her. Uh -huh. Why do you think that's coming up now like in the context of like the story why is this relevant at all well they are talking now about life and and death um i suppose that the curi curiosity of the the po the, the, the children huh? okay yeah so definitely talking about life and death and yeah so Maybe if we're thinking about like an opposite of death, you know, that's maybe what they're they're looking for. Uh, Ken, can you read the next part? Okay, uh, I do like Helen. Oh, oh no, <laughs> the next part, Ken. What are you doing over there? <laughs> this says, please, please make love with Helen. We require and assertion of value. We are frightened. I said that they shouldn't be frightened. 
although I am often frightened, and that there was value everywhere, Helen came and embraced me. I kissed her a few times on the brow. We held each other. The children were excited. Then there was a knock on the door. I hoped the door and the new Garville walked in. The children cheered, cheered wildly. <laughs> Can you repeat wildly? Wildly. Wildly. Wild. Wildly. Good. Wildly. Wildly. And gerbil. Job. Gerbil. Good. Opened. Opened. And embraced. Embraced. Good. Okay. And I think that's good. Any questions? Okay, good. Uh, Ksenia, what was your comment? Uh, it's about, um, oh my god, gerbil. The gerbil, yeah. Yes, I think it's new victim. Okay, and so like, why is it relevant? If it was a new victim, like, yeah. I guess in the story, like, what is it, what are we trying to get at? I don't know, what's going on? I'm sorry? <laughs> it, why does that matter? Why is it important that there's like a new victim that walks in? Why is it important that the children cheered? Like, why were they happy? Like, what is? I don't know. What's going on? I don't know actually, but everything uh, died in this class. Uh huh. Is the uh, class? I mean, is the class ever more than a class? Like, is there anything like? kind of supernatural about this class? I like think what so. Saying. Maybe some bad kid in jest. Alright. Yeah, I mean, their response, like, when they're saying, when they're talking on the page before, you know, isn't death considered as a fundamental datum, the means by which, I mean, you know, maybe they're not <laughs> necessarily like a normal class of youths. Um, all right. Does anybody have, I guess, any questions or comments or thoughts about this story? Okay. Um, I guess we could try to do another short story. Um, hold on one second. I need to get it up. Um, I guess we're going to probably try another... Um, Barth my story. I need to sign in though, so hold on one second. Um, does anybody have any reason, like, any ideas of, like, why that story was the last class? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think we'll have. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Xenia? Uh, something like group classes died. Yeah, kind of like that. <laughs> um, uh, good. Just, but like there, there's always new life um, as well, and it's not, <laughs> it's not the end of the world. Um, but good, perfect. That was, that was good. A good interpretation. Let's go through this. We'll have to read it relatively quickly, but it's only one page, so I think we might be able to get through it. Xenia, can you read until, uh, damn baby? My wife wants a dog. She already has a baby. The baby's almost two. My wife says uh, that the baby wants a dog. My wife has been wanting a dog for a long time. I have had to be the one to tell her that she couldn't have it. But now the baby wants a dog, my wife says. This may be true. The baby is very close to my wife. They go around together all the time, clutching each other tightly. I ask the baby, who is a girl? Who, uh, whose girl are you? Are you daddy's girl? The baby says, Mama. And she, does, and she doesn't just say it once. She says 
it repeatedly, Mama, Mama, Mama. I don't, I don't see why I should buy a hundred dollar dog for that damn baby. <laughs> Good. Uh, and Heidi, can you read the next part? Ooh, it's a long one. The kind, of, the kind of dog that I really want. My wife said, is a Karen Terrier. Yeah. This kind of dog, my wife said, is a, a Presbyterian, like herself and the baby. Last year, the baby was a Baptist. Uh, that is, she went to the Mother's Day out program at the first Baptist twice a week. This year, she is a, a Presbyterian because the pres Presbyterians have more uh, things and uh, rights and uh, things. I think that's pretty uh, shameless and I have said so. My wife is a legitimate uh, lifelong Presbyterian and said that makes it okay. Way back when she was a child, she used to go to the first Presbyterian in uh, Evansville. Evansville. Hmm? Evansville. Evansville, Illinois. I didn't uh, go to church because I was black sheep. There was there were five children in my family, and the males uh, rotated the position of black sheep among us. The oldest one uh, being the black sheep for a while, while she, he was in uh, his D D W I uh, period of uh, whatever. And then getting a prayer as he maybe got a job or was in the service, and then uh, finally becoming a white sheep when he got married and had a grandchild. My sister was never a black sheep because she was a girl. Okay. Um, Illinois? No S sound? No. Good. Um, okay. And I think that was good. Uh, let's have Gregor. Can you read the next part? <clears throat> yes, our baby is pretty fine baby. I told my wife for many years that she couldn't have a baby because it was too expensive. But they were you down. They're just wonderful at wearing you down, even if it takes years, as it did in this case. Now I hang up around the baby and hug her every chance I get. Her name is Joanna. She was Oshkosh, I don't know how to say it. Good, that was perfect, Oshkosh. Oshkosh overalls and says, no, booty out. And mama, she looks most lovable when she's wet. When she just had a bath and her blonde hair is all wet and she's wrapped in a beige towel. Sometimes when she's watching television, she forgets that you are there. You can't just look at her. And uh, the next part... Okay, when she is watching television, she looks dumb. I like her better when she is wet. <laughs> uh, and the other, the only thing I saw was bottle. Right here, bottle. Uh, bottle. Good. Uh, nice. And so we've got a dad and a baby. Let's have Judietta. Can you read the next part? This dog. Uh, this dog thinks it's getting to be a big issue. I said to my wife, well, you have got the baby. We Do we have to have the dumb dog too? The dog will probably bite somebody or get lost. I can see myself walking all over our subdivision asking people, have you seen this brown dog? What is its name? They'll, they'll say to me, and I'll stare at them coldly and say, Michael, that's what she wants to call it, Michael. That silly name of her dog, and I'd have to go looking for this possibly rabid animal and say to people, have you seen this brown dog, Michael? It's enough to make you think about divorce. <laughs> Good. Uh, does anybody have any questions so far? I know we've been kind of going through this quickly. Does anybody have any questions? Okay. Uh, Diego, can you read 
the next part. Okay. <coughs> What's that baby going to to do with that dog that it can do with me? Romp? I can romp. I took I took her to the playground at the school. It was Sunday and there was nobody there and we romped. romped. Uh, I ran and she tottered, tottered after me after Hard. the wood her face. I held her as she lit down the slide. She groped her way through a uh, legs uh, of big pipe. They have uh, their set in concrete. Uh, she picked it up a uh, feather and looked at it for a long time. It was warned that it might be a decisor feather, but she didn't put it in, it in her mouth. Then we ran some some more over the patcher pat, uh, bird uh, softball field and through the arcade that connects the temporary wooden classroom, which are losing their yellow paint to the main building. Joanna, will you, Joan, will you? John will go to this school someday if if he is, stay in the same job. If I stay in the same job. If I stay in a, the same job. Uh, through the arcade. Through the uh, arcade. Hatched. 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 Close. Patched has a T sound at the end. Patched. Patched. Oh, okay. Better. Oh, good. Patched. Yeah. And just smooth that out and you'll be there. Uh, diseased. 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 Good. Um, picked up a feather. Picked up two feathers. Picked up a feather. Picked, picked up to feather. <laughs> a feather, not two feather, a feather, but good. A feather, I don't know. Okay. Uh, okay. Picked up uh, a feather. Good. good. And set in concrete. Set in concrete. In concrete. Uh, a big pipe. A big pipe. Then length. Length. Length and tottered, 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 tottered. Nicely done. Uh, Amp, can you read the next part? I looked at some dogs at Pet uh, Plenty, which has bird rodents, uh, tiles, and dogs, uh, all in top condition. They showed me the cairn terrier. Uh, oops. Yeah. <laughs> oops, I lost. Uh, do go. they have their prayer books? I asked. <laughs> this woman, cleric, didn't know uh, what I was talking about. The Cairn Terriers ran about uh, 295 per with, uh, with their papers. Uh, I started to ask if they had an, uh, any in illegitimate, illegitimate children at lower prices, but I could see that it would be useless and the woman already didn't like me. I could, I could tell. <laughs> okay, good. What is happening here, Amp? This is a tricky one. What's going on? Well, he was uh, at the at the pet uh, uh, shop, mm -hmm. and because of the all the conditions that the, his wife was asking for, he was uh, being ironic, and that's yeah. why the the woman didn't understand what he was trying to say. So.
Yeah, so that's why he was asking about the prayer books. What yeah. did his What did his wife say about the dog? Well, the, the uh, now he's Presbyterian. Is the, the the church that he's visiting right now this year? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So she's oh. saying this kind of dog. My wife says is a Presbyterian like herself and the baby. So, <laughs> um, so that's yeah. why he asked if they have the prayer book. Uh, what was the next question? After the 295 per, I started to ask if they had any illegitimate children. What's going on here? Well, because the the, the price are too high, he was uh, asking for another one that it could be a little cheaper. And it must be an illegitimate because uh, she have a lot of paper for this can that costs a lot. Okay, yeah. So an illegitimate children, he's like asking about a human child, right? Mm-hmm. So it's like a human child that's illegitimate would be like cheaper than this crazy expensive dog. Um, yeah. So before he thought it was really expensive and it was a hundred dollar dog. So I don't see why I should buy a hundred dollar dog for that damn baby. And two ninety five per. How much is that amp? Two hundred. Two ninety five. Yeah, $295. $295. So it's almost $300. Three, so it's like yeah. three times as much as he thought it was going to be. Um, and he already thought it was expensive before that. Good. Ken, can you read the next paragraph? Uh, what is wrong with me? Why I, am I not a more natural person like my wife wants me to be? I sit up in the, the early morning at my desk on the second floor of our house. The desk faces uh, the street. At 5.30 in the morning, the runners are already out, individu individually or in, in, in pairs, running toward rude red house. I'm sipping a glass of yellow sharp with, with an ice cube in it. Smoking worrying. I worry that the baby may jam a kitchen knife into an electrical outlet while she's wet. I put those little plastic plugs into all the electrical outlets, but she's learned how to pop them out. I've checked the carry 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 so a gray celeste. Crayolas. 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 They've Good. made the Crayolas safe to eat. I call them head office in Pennsylvania. Uh, she can eat a whole box of Crayolas and nothing much will happen to her. If I don't get the new tires out for the car, I can buy the dock. Okay. Um... Rude Red Health is like just, they turn kind of red when they run because it's kind of cold, um, whatever, in the early morning. Their face just gets red when you exercise. Um, it's just a, an expression that he's using. Um, maybe it's rude because he's like, you know, just, yeah, running towards Rude Red Health. Um, can't really explain it more than an, just an expression that he's using, um, and it's his own expression. Um, yeah. Um, any other questions here? Um, Crayolas can or can't crayons? So it's like just a box of crayon. Chablis. Oh, also that was the other thing. Can it's Chablis, and it's a type of wine. So it's like 5.30 in the morning, and he's drinking wine and smoking and worrying. Um, and it's Gallo. Um, okay, and Ksenia, can you read the rest of the story? I remember the time 30 years ago when I put Herman's mother's Buick into a cornfield on the Beaumont Highway. There was a car coming at me in my, la in my lane, and I didn't hit it and it didn't hit me. I remember veering to the right and down into the ditch and up through the fence and coming 
to rest in the cornfield and then getting out to wake Herman and the two of us going to see what the happy drunks in the other car had come to in the ditch of the other side of the road. That was uh, when I was a black sheep years and years ago. That was skillfully done, I think. I get up, congratulate, congratulate, congratulate myself in memory and go in to look at the baby. Congratulate. 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 The Jew. Congratulate. Congratulate. Perfect. There you go. Um, okay. And really well and nicely done. Does anybody have any questions here? All right. Heidi, what's what's happening in the story? Whole story? Yeah. What's the story about, kind of? Um, he got a baby. She was very cute. She and yeah. uh, her wife, uh, her, um, his wife, want to get quite expensive dog. But she, yeah. uh, she is working in a poor country, poor company. So he is not sure he can stay in the same get job. And uh, she went to the um, pet shop, uh, but that was very expensive. And. Uh, Mm, I don't think that uh, he he's always worried about his uh, kid uh, because there are a lot of dangerous things in the house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think he, he remembered when uh, he uh, what happened when he was young. He drove he drove uh, his friend mm -hmm. car, uh, but he. he um, uh, the other from the other side, the another car came. He avoided uh, to hitting the car. He instead he get into the cornfield in the ditch. He couldn't uh, went out from that place. He remember mm -hmm. that uh, people have some such bad bad accident of but still or oh, he is alive. Yeah. So, and I guess that last part is kind of, just to give you a brief idea, the last part is a metaphor for, like, what he's thinking about raising a child. He's really worried. You know, he's in this situation where he's, you know, he's in his car and there's another car coming from the other lane and the other car is, like, you know, money, being worried about money, being worried about her electrocuting herself, being worried about her eating Crayolas, being worried about not getting the dog or getting the dog or getting the tires. And so he's like really worried about being a father. And then he remembers this time where he was also in a dangerous situation and he managed to, to save himself and save his friend and it was okay. And he's like, maybe it'll be okay. So he goes in to look at the baby and, you know, hopefully it'll be okay. Um, but nice, that was a good synopsis. Thanks for coming in, guys. Thanks for all the classes. and Yeah, that was really nice. And hopefully I'll see you again soon. Um, yeah, thanks for coming in. Thank you, Chair. Take care. Thank bye. You very much. Bye. Bye, guys. 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 Bye, gu